Thank you all for joining us today for this protest against LGBT plus conversion therapy. As we all know, the government promised to ban conversion therapy three years ago. And we are still waiting. Meanwhile, more LGBT plus people are suffering the harm caused by this abusive practice. So we're here outside the cabinet office, which also houses the government's equalities office, to tell the minister Liz Truss, stop dithering. It's time for action. We want this unethical, ineffective, and harmful practice banned for good. It is banned in Germany, in some states in Australia and the United States. It's about to be banned in Canada. Only just recently, the Australian state of Victoria passed legislation that could easily be adapted to the UK. There is no more excuse for hesitation. For the sake of those who've already suffered at the hands of this abusive practice, we need to have a ban now. When do we want it now? When do we want it now? When do we want it? Now! When do we want it? Now! We're going to hand in a petition, the Stop Dithering Petition, organized by the Peter Tatchell Foundation. It has seven and a half thousand signatures of people who want a ban now. We're also going to hand in a letter to the Equalities Minister, Liz Truss, saying very clearly that the time for delay is over. We hope the government will listen. We demand the government listen. And it's only through you coming out here today and all the people who signed the petition and everybody else who's been involved in this campaign, including the Ban Conversion Therapy Coalition, that we have made some progress. The government keeps on reiterating that a ban will come. Thanks to you and everyone else, we are escalating the pressure. The pressure is growing. There is a huge consensus across the whole country with medical associations, psychological associations, counselling associations, and MPs in Parliament saying, enough is enough. So let's hear it. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Okay, well, thank you so much. I'm going to ha now hand over to Jane Ozan, who has played an incredibly powerful, influential role, both in terms of meeting with the government and through the chairship of the Ban Conversion Therapy Coalition, representing many, many, many different LGBT plus and human rights organizations. So please give it up for Jane Ozan. Thank you, Peter, and thank you all for coming. Four years ago, four years ago, the Church of England voted to condemn conversion therapy and called on the government to ban it. Conversion therapy in the UK is mostly practiced in religious settings. 
in cultural settings. Hands up, how many of you have had the play, the gay away on you? Someone who has tried to change you for being gay. How many of you know people who have been told that they are unacceptable for who they are? How many of you have been ridiculed for who you are? It's time this stops. And we need the government to act now. It's the voiceless who always get hurt. And it's time it stopped. It's time the religion of which I am a leader acknowledge the harm it has done and follow the lead that the Church of England has made and ban it. There is no such thing as helpful prayer when you are told that you are sinful and wrong. And we need a ban that tells leaders clearly that they are breaking the law if they continue to harm people. So we need to say enough is enough. And the government should not waste a second longer because too many young people's lives and older people's lives have been scarred for life. How many of you know someone who has attempted suicide or taken their life because they were gay? There's too many. We'll spend a moment just thinking of them and naming them under your breath. We don't want one more young person or older person being told that they are unacceptable. So that's why we need action now. And the promises that the government have made need to cover all forms of conversion therapy, including religious practices. Otherwise, there is a ban in name only. So thank you for coming today. Your presence shows that it is important and we hope it will travel internationally. Thank you, Jane. Is Liz Barker there here, please? Liz Barker? Baroness Barker is supporting this campaign. She's a member of the House of Lords. Obviously, she, she got delayed on business but she did express her support for this campaign and what we are doing. So I'd, I'd like to... Okay, I'm going to introduce the Reverend Colin Coward to say a few words. Thank you, Peter, and thank you, Jane. This campaign is incredibly important. I knew I was gay when I was 11. Fortunately, nobody ever tried to convert me. But I now have a large number of friends and contacts who have suffered immensely at the hands of people in the church and other faiths who think that it's wicked to be gay, wicked to love somebody of the same sex, wicked to share love with a person of the same gender. This is evil, and it has got to stop. It has got to stop now. When has it got to stop? Now! 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 now. Thank you, folks. And uh, it's a real privilege here to be here with all of you. Uh, I appreciate your commitment, along with everybody else, and I just hope to God that the government and the church act really quickly. Okay, do we have the letter? We have the letter. We're going to do the hand in now. Jane and myself. And maybe Colin too. We'll, we'll, we'll go together and hand it in. So, um, no, you could keep that. 
and get a go. Keep it separate. So, do we want to get a photo of the? You need to take your bag with you. Do you want to get a photo of the? I'll hold the. I'll hold the. Go on. Okay. Thank you. Can you stand? Everybody stand back, please. Stand back. You will have a chance to be photographed later on. You need to photograph the petition and the letter. Can you please stand back and stop crowding? Thank you. This way. Fabio. Yeah, why are you here? I'm here. Okay. My name's uh Sir John Clement Rotalo Rutoi. I'm here to join the protests being organized by Peter Fletcher and the group Jane and others protests against conventional therapy, meaning that this has been something that must have been put away or be burned before, but all along it has not been successful. So we're here to, to remind them that we need that change. This kind of change must come and we need it now. That's why we are here today to demonstrate for that purpose. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. In a word, in a word? Any words? Yeah. What, you mean, uh, what? About, about conversion. Uh, yeah, I, I could say something, yeah, you know. Uh, there are people saying, why don't you let conversion therapy for people who want it? Why, you know, there are people who want it. Why are you banning it for people who want it? So i just like to say that if you've got a friend who's heterosexual and your heterosexual friend said, I want therapy to become gay, how ridiculous would that be? Somebody heterosexual saying, I want to be gay. It's as ridiculous as somebody who's gay having to be heterosexual. So I say, if there is any therapy, let's have therapy to help people accept themselves for who God made them to be. And let's get rid of this, stop dithering, and ban this pernicious practice. It's ridiculous and it's wrong. Thank you. Mm. Why are you here? Ah. Speaking Swahili. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Johnny. Tuko hapa um, uh, Trafalgar Square, maeneo ya Whitehall. Tumekuja kupinga hiki kitendo cha kinaitwa conversation therapy. Ni hali ya ya wewe kupata maelekezo ya kwa unaweza kutoka kwenye hali yako moja kwenda nyingine. Kama watu walivyokuwa wanasema kuwa kama mtu ukishakuwa umezaliwa kwenye hali yako hiyo ya kawaida haiwezekani mtu mwingine akaja akakwambia unaweza ukabadilisha hali yako hiyo kwenda hali nyingine kwa kuambia maneno au kwa kupa vidonge au kwa kukutibu kwa njia moja au nyingine Tuko hapa kwa kupinga kwa nguvu zetu zote ya kwa kama hili tendo alikubaliki kwa tu sote ya kwa kama uweze kumbadilisha mtu vile alivyo kumpeleka vile ambavyo kwamba unataka Asante sana What's your name? Oh, jina yako. My name, my name is Othman. Jina, ah, jina langu naitwa Othman. Natokea Dar es Salaam Tanzania. It's been a very very long time. We've been going through this all the torture we've been getting through the years. We want this to end and we want to end it now. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm from Uganda. A gay man from Uganda, a proud gay man from Uganda. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I pastors, guess. Especially yeah, especially <laughs> Pastor Sempa. This one goes to so Pastor so. Sempa. Who thinks that being gay is illegal? We are born like this. We have no way we can change this. Yeah. And many people have had all this suffering for generations and generations. Please, if you're there, pastors, listen to us. For well, being gay, can't change someone. let them be who they want to be. Yeah. Everyone. Respect to be in all people. aspects. Respect everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And we'll not stop seeking until we win it. So thank you all for being the physical strength. We want action now. 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 Okay, I want to thank you again so much for coming today. Your support is so valued. Let's go away tonight and vow to continue the fight until we win. Thank you. Thank you.